Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're, uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just, uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Go on. I'm listening. You're looking for Crane, right? Well, I don't know where he is. But what if I told you I know who might know where he is? Word on the street says he's got a witch in the city. I can tell you who she is. If you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. How convenient. Convenient for you, Sheriff. I got the info you need. This is an easy win. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Fine. You got a deal. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find this witch. Strong grip. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. If you're looking for Crane, she might know how to find him. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, Bigby. Hang on a second. Oh, come on! The White Deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. You wanna try that again? That it? Bigby? Are you still here? We're in here, Snow. We? Who else is... What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? Our friend Jack was caught stealing. Oh, come on! Is that right? I thought we had an understanding. But he did have some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. I think it's connected. Maybe the girls found out about it? I don't know. Mm, maybe? Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. I'll go to the Trip Trap, see about Lily's things. I think that's our best option. Sounds good. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. Uh, 
<laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. She didn't even give me a chance to explain. Hey! Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Grant, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah. I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you shouldn't drink right now. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Um, is that stuff supposed to be here, or...? Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia. For the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I'm after Crane, all right? The guy we all hate? And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? We'll get to whatever you're here for in a sec. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, what? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. I'm running out of time, Gren. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. What more do you want? What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. 
You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. I think whatever happened was between them, and Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gren. Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Thanks for that. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day.